Hi guys, in this video we are going to see how we can build a grid view like this in Flutter. It is a perfect grid view with two buttons, title and price. So let's get started. I have created a stateful widget and I called it as a grid view. And then uh, we will use uh, first we will use our previous application in which we have made a slider. It is a beautiful slider without uh, plugin. Uh, we build a slider from scratch without using pubdiff plugin so how we can build this you can see from the i button so in this video we are going to see we will build a grid view uh, inside a grid view a, we will uh, render a container with having a title image price okay now i have created a stateful widget and i called it as a grid view and inside grid view state class I have created a list of map and uh, I provided the data, title, price and images for all one, two, all the items that is available in a grid map. And now I have created a container, it is a container. I will replace this, it with a grid view dot builder and then inside a item count, inside a item count first I will override out and item count I will pass a grid map grid map dot length now I will override our item builder and then first is context and other is index I will return a container okay it is asking for and another required parameter is grid delegate so I will provide a grid delegate and the grid delegate is fixed cross axis count and then I will provide a cross axis count to what does it mean that it will create a two column for me when I will pass a cross axis count equal to two it will create a two column for me then I will save it and first uh, for distinguishing I will provide a color and the color should be colors dot redescent dot seed hundred and then I will refresh it I am okay I need to call this before calling I will use a string wrap property I will call it a true and then the grid we should be called so let's call it let's wrap this children and then inside a row I will call a grid B then refresh it you can see that uh, we are getting error we are getting a render flow this is because we need to use a column we will wrap it with a widget and the widget is single child scroll view single child scroll view then refresh it now you can see that our error is gone but we are not able to scroll so to fix this we will come to our grid b widget which is here and then inside grid view builder we will override a physics property physics property and the physics should be const never scrollable fix and then i will refresh it after refreshing you can see that we can scroll now we need to provide a padding so let's provide a padding for our grid view and let's wrap with a widget or a padding and then we will provide a padding of 24 cons should be removed and cons should be placed here now you can see that our grid view is working fine but it is mixing all so let's come in a grid view builder and then come inside a cross axis count here First we need to provide const and then we have a certain property here. The first property is cross axis spacing. So when I will provide this cross axis spacing, it will uh, give me a space between two columns. So let's provide it and see 12.2. When I refresh it, you can see that we have got a space between a two column and another property is main axis spacing 
and uh, main axis spacing is between the two row, spacing between the two rows so let's provide it as well now you can see that our widget is looking fine so let's ins come inside container and uh, clear it and now for decoration purpose we will use a decoration box decoration border radius border radius dot circular and uh, it will i will provide it 12.2 and then refresh it and uh, then provide a color now you can see that it is looking fine now i i need a space that is i need to increase the length of every element because it is too small to adjust all these inside a grid view item so i need to increase it so what i will do when i will provide a height of the container to increase it it will not going to do so so to uh, so it is not required here we will remove this and then we will place this height inside a silver grid delegate fix count and we will override a main axis extent main axis extent is the length of the row in a grid view so main axis extent should be if i if i will increase it with 250 you can see that our length of the container each container would be increased significantly so now you can see that it is increased so now it's time to come inside container and then we will inside a child okay child inside a child what we will do is just uh, come here and then i will call a column column widget and then children after this i will come inside here and then what i will do is uh, just uh, create a, another container and then or i will use uh, image.network image.network and uh, my list is grid map here it is a grid map so i will call a grid uh, src okay it will asking for me src so i will <laughs> what i will do is just to use a dollar sign after this a bracket and then i will use a grid map dot element at index and i will call the okay let's first take this out and instead of the single quotation we will use remove this and use a double quotation and then it will be fine now first it is required here now i will use a image property when i refresh it you can see that our image is now being loaded or we are getting error because uh, i think we need we are hitted by error because no host is specified file null so let's refresh it because it is not taking the image sorry we need images sorry we need to provide images here and when i refresh it you can see that our image being loaded <coughs> okay our image is now rendered but it is taking the height whole height of the container first it is not a correct manner because it is i have created a rounded box container and it is giving me a rough edges to get rid of that we will wrap this widget inside a clip r rect then inside a clip r rect i will use a border radius property okay so border radius border radius dot only top left radius dot circular and 16.0 is enough and then inside top right the same will be done so radius dot uh, circular and then 16.0 when i refresh it first we will use a const perfect const when i refresh it you can see that our widget is now being furnished well 
so it is 12.2 we will increase it 16.2 in the container then we will get out of that edges rough edges and now we will give a height of the image and the height should be height okay height should be 200 or 170 but when I do this, you can see that it is not looking very fine. To get rid of that, we will use a fit and we will provide a box fit dot cover. Now it is looking perfect. Okay, let's refresh it first. You can see that the sum images has been perfectly fit, but sum is not. So to achieve this, we will use width double dot infinity. Mm. Double dot infinity. Now it is looking fine. We need to decrease the size of the images because it is not looking very much perfect because we need some more space or we can increase the main axis size so let's increase the main axis size by 300 and now it's looking fine <laughs> after this what we will do is just uh, create a column just create a padding widget and then inside the padding const edge inset start all and uh, the padding should be 8.0 and now what we will do is just child come inside child and then we will use a column to render our text price and uh, title price so let's render a title and title should be this same here so let's copy this and then paste it here and instead of images we will use title now refresh it and now you can see that our title is rendered and now we will use a const sized box to give us space height should be 8.0 and then we will provide a text widget for our price tag so let's copy it refresh it and then paste it here and we will use <coughs> price first it is price or not okay price so now it will be fine Okay, it is at a center. We need, don't need at a center. So what we will do is just create first give a call comma and then refresh it. And now inside the cross axis alignment, we will use cross axis alignment dot start. Now when I refresh it, you can see that uh, okay, it is not working fine. Why? because it will be not placed here it will be placed it should be placed here so cross axis alignment should be start okay where it will be placed it will be placed inside the padding widget and then column and now it is fine so let's uh, style it first we will use a style theme dot of context dot text theme dot I will use headline 6 for this purpose then I refresh it you can see that the alpha is now working fine and uh, for the okay I will use subtitle 1 for this purpose because it is looking much bigger okay it is now looking fine I will use merge const text style and then font weight should be font weight dot w700 and then refresh it it is looking fine now i will copy that code and then i will paste it here style code i will paste it here and uh, instead of subtitle 1 i will call it subtitle 2 and then i will change the color so color should be colors dot gray I will remove the const first 
refresh it it is looking fine but it is creating some background issue so let's change the color of the container our container and i will call it amber essent okay it is looking much more better now i will like to provide some share and buy option if i will do this i can so let's copy const then here const after this i will use our widget children then i will provide a two icon button icon button on press should be overrided and then the icon should be icon start first is uh, first icon should be icons first is copper tino icon start hurt and uh, refresh it and then i will provide the same but uh, i will call it cart now when i refresh it you can see that we are getting error because it is rendered float error and the pixel is around required is around 4 pixel so let's increase it by 10 and let's come here and we will call it 320 refresh it or 310 Now you can see that our grid view is looking fine, perfect. So in this way, you can create a grid view in a Flutter in Flutter. So thanks for watching.